Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God, hope, glory to heavenly King, come for the spirit of truth, who is present and fills all things, treasure, blessing, giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every sin, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. Holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who are lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries, and for an ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace is their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, a good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those, who, save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Nathaniel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful God who love mankind and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he has heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden. They are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly. And they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear. I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will not declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and they are become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord of my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord of my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I, raise, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. 
So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory, because your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praises to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me, but they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised, for the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave whom you remember no more. But they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in the dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me, and they made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cry out to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes, for the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in, the places of, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication and your truth. Answer me in your righteousness, do not enter into judgment into, with your servants. For no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spared out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servants. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. 
Aleluya, 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 Dios ha sido de vos. Aleluya, 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 glory to you, O oh God. Our hope, O oh Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our Archbishop Nathaniel, the annual priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, the armed forces, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most, most blessed and glorious Lord, Lady, the fell, Pogos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you is due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Exomologiste to Kyrio, ke epikaliste to onoma ton aion aftu, Θεός Κύριος και επεφάνεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Para Kyrio again to afti ke esti thavmasti en ophthalmisimon. Theos Kyrios ke pepanen imin. Evloimenos o erhomenos en onomati Kyriou. You descended from on high, O compassionate one, and condescended to be buried for three days, so that from the passions you might set us free, our life and resurrection, O Lord, Glory be to you. Loxa patrike, O keio pnevmati, Σήμερον τη σωτηρία σημών το κεφάλαιον και του απεώνος μυστηρίου η φανερωσής. Ο Υιός του Θεού, Υιός της Παρθένου γίνεται και Γαβρίλ την χάριν ευαγγελίζεται διό και ημίς συν αυτό Την Θεοτόκο βοήσωμεν, χαίρε και χαριτωμένη ο Κύριος μετά σου. Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. Today is the summary of our salvation and the revelation of the age-old mystery. For the 
Son of God becomes the Son of the Virgin, and Gabriel announces the good news of grace. Therefore, let us join him and cry aloud to the Theotokos. Rejoice, maiden full of grace, the Lord is with you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, and most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours the dominion, yours the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. When you, the life of all from the dead, resurrected, a shining angel cried to the lamenting women, cease from your tears, announce unto the apostles the tidings full of joy. Cry out in exultation that Christ the Lord has arisen from the dead, for he so will to save the human race as God in his good pleasure. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, after having in truth risen from the tomb, you commanded the venerable woman to proclaim your arising to the apostles as it is written, and Peter ran quickly and came to the sepulcher. And beholding the light in the tomb, he was quite amazed. Also he observed that the grave clothes were lying alone in the sepulcher without divine body. And he believing, he cried aloud, Glory be to you, Christ God, our Savior, for you save all the people, and you are the Father's radiance. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. The great commanding chief of the bodiless powers in Nazareth appears and announces the coming to you, O Immaculate, of the King of the ages and Lord, saying unto you, Rejoice, O all blessed Mary, incomprehensible and inexplicable wonder, the restoration of humanity. Human beings sealed your tomb, O Savior. An angel rolled the stone away from the door. The women saw that you were resurrected from the dead. And they announced the good tidings to the disciples in Zion, that you, the life of all resurrected, and that the bonds of death had been loosed. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the women who were bringing the burial spices heard the voice of an angel coming from the sepulcher. Cease from your tears and instead of sorrow bring joy. Sing praises, sing praises crying aloud that Christ the Lord has risen. 
He is the one who, as God, was well pleased to save the human race. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Mm -hmm. Today creation all exults with greatest joy. For the archangel came and said to you, Rejoice! Blessed are you, O blameless maid, and undefiled, and dignified. And today the insolence of the serpent is mortified. The fetters of the cursed ones laid on our forefather now are loosed. And so with all the world we cry out to you, rejoice, O maiden, full of grace. Τον αγγέλων ο Δήμος κάτε πλάγι ορώνσε εν εκρής λοϊσθέντα του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύν καθελώντα και συνε αυτό τον αδάμε γύραντα και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερώσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the myrrh-bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Ευλογητό εσύ, Κύριε, δίδαξον με τα δικαιώματά σου, λίαν πρωί μυροφόρη έδραμον προς το μνήμα σου θρηνολογούσε. Αλλά πέστη προς αυτάς ο άγγελος και είπε, Θρήνου ο καιρός πεπαυτέ μη κλαίτε, την Ανάστασην δε Αποστολής είπατε. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of the angel clearly speaking to them, why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has risen from the sepulchre. Δόξα πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι, προσκυνούμεν Πατέρα και τον τούτου Υιόντε και το Άγιο Πνεύμα, την Αγία Τριάδα εν μία τη ουσία, Συν τη Σεραφείμ κράζονται στο Άγιο, 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 η Κυρία. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
For your name is blessed and your kingdom is glorified of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women came to the grave of the giver of life, seeking the immortal master among the dead. And receiving good tidings of joy from the angel, they reported to the apostles that Christ, had ris that Christ God had risen, granting the world great mercy. From the years of my youth, many passions combat me, but you are my Savior, assist me and save me. From the years of my youth, many passions combat me, but you are my savior, assist me and save me. You haters of Zion shall be put to shame by the Lord Almighty, for as grass in the fire, you shall all be withered. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, into the ages of ages, in the Holy Spirit is the life of all things living. He is light from light and great God. Him do we extol with the Father and Logos. With the fear of you, Lord, let my heart be covered and humbled. Lest it be exalted and fall from you, O compassionate Master. He who has set his hope on the Lord will not fear when he will judge and punish all things with fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, every divine man sees and speaks as a prophet. He does sublime miracles, praising the one God in three persons. For though it is three lights, yet the Godhead rules as monarch. I cry to you, O Lord, attend, incline your ear to me, who am shouting, and purify me prior to taking me from this life. Everyone will set in the earth his mother, and will again return thence to receive the torments or honors for his life's action. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever, into the ages of ages, amen. From the Holy Spirit it was bestowed the theology, thrice holy monad, Father unoriginate, from whom timelessly the Son did issue, and the Spirit sharing both form and throne shone at once from the Father. Behold what is so good or so delightful as for brothers to reside together, for in this has the Lord promised life everlasting. He who so adorns the lilies of the field commands not to be concerned about one's own raiment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, into the ages of ages, amen. In the Holy Spirit, the unifying cause are, are all things sustained in peaceful coexistence. This is so, for he is God with the Father and the Son, being truly one in essence. Mm -hmm. The Lord will reign forever, your God's O Zion, to all generations. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord, O my soul. The Lord will reign forever. Your 
Lord God, O Zion, to all generations. When you had risen from the grave, you also raised those who had died and resurrected Adam. And now Eve is celebrating in your resurrection, and the ends of the world keep festival. For your rising from the dead, O most merciful. Having plundered the realms of Hades and raised the dead, O long suffering, you met the myrrh bearing women and gave them joy instead of sorrow. And your apostles, you informed of the symbols of victory, my life giving Savior, and you illumined creation, O lover of man. Therefore, the world also rejoices for your rising from the dead, O most merciful. On March 26, we hold services in honor of the Archangel Gabriel, which practice was instituted very early on since he ministered the divine and supernal and ineffable mysteries. On this day, we also commemorate the holy 26 martyrs who witnessed in the land of the Goths, two priests, Bathusas and Wirkus, with Wirkus's two sons and three daughters, and the monk Arpilas, the layman Abipas Agnas, Riax, Hegethrax, Escoes, Silas, Sigetsas, Suerilas, Simblas, Thermas, Filgas, and the woman, the women, Anna, Ala, Baris, Moiko, Mamika, Wirko, and Animes. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyrs Quadratus, Theodosios, Manuel, and another 40 in Anatolia. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Stephen the Confessor, Abbot of Triglia. On this day, we read the edifying story about the monk Malthus, who was taken captive. By your intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Anixo to stoma mu ke plirotite to pnevmatos, ke logo ne repsomet in vasili dimitri, Que ofiso me pedros panigirizon, que aso yitho menos taftistin silipsin. Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, for they have formed a spirit you will choir for you, the living and abundant fount. And in your divine conception, now also give glorious crowns to them. He who sits in holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus, our most high God, on a swift and light cloud has come to us. And by the might of his undefiled hand has saved those who cry to him, glory to your power, O Christ. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, you who were perpetually virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb and gave birth to the eternal Son, who award salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. Prefiguring in the whale the divine three-day burial, prophet Jonah cried aloud in affliction, beseeching God from corruption, save me, O Lord Jesus, the King of angelic hosts. Godly-minded three did not adore created things in the Creator's stead, rather disdaining the threat of fire, they trampled it, and joyfully they sang, O supremely praised and most exalted Lord and God, of the fathers you are blessed we praise and we bless and we worship the lord hearken o damsel let gabriel say incline your ear o virgin pure and hear the counsel of the most high ancient ancient and true and make ready for your own reception of God. For through you the 
the uncontainable associates with mortal men. And I am therefore rejoicing and shouting, O oh, all you works of the Lord, praise and bless the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and dwell in the holies until you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the <coughs> Lord. Let everything that breathes Praise the Lord. That we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. And Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you loved the truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. 
You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you for if you desired sacrifice I would give it, you will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart. God will God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall then shall they offer young bulls on your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit at the intercession of the apostles. O Lord of mercy, blood of my many offenses. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Open to me the gates of repentance, O giver of life. Spirit hastens to your holy temple, bringing the temple of my body all defiled. But as one compassionate, <coughs> cleanse me. now and ever and unto the ages of ages amen guide me in the paths of salvation o theotokos for i have befouled my soul with shameful sins 
and I heedlessly squandered all my life's resources. By your intercessions, deliver me from every uncleanness. Have mercy on me, O God. <clears throat> according to your great mercy and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgression. When I ponder in my wretchedness on the many terrible things that I have done, I tremble for that fearful day. Trusting in the mercy of your compassion. Like David, I cry to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your grace. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Visit the world with mercy and compassion. Uplift the Orthodox Christians and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercession of the most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and our Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life creating cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of our fathers, one of the saints, great hierarchs, and ecumenical teachers, based with the great Gregor the theologian, John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, spirit of of Trimethus, and Nectarius of Pentopolis, the wonder workers, of the holy, glorious, great, victorious martyrs, George the triumphant, Demetrius the Murflowing, Theodore Tyre, Theodore the commander, Minos the wonder worker, of the holy priest martyrs, Herolambos and Lepterius, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers who shine forth in asceticism, of the holy righteous ancestors of the Lord Joachim and Anna, of our righteous and God-bearing father, John of the Ladder of Sinai, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all your saints, we entreat you, most merciful Lord, listen to us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. To the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. 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 My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Ότι επέβλεψεν επί της ταπεινοσύνην της δούλης αυτού, η δούγαρα που του νυν μακαριούσι με πάσε γενε, την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβήμ, 
Ken Doxo Terra Nasin Gritos Ton Serafim Tina Dia Thoros Teon Logon Te Cusa In Ondos Teo Tocon Se Megalino Me For He Who Is Mighty Has Done Great Things For Me And holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theodokos, you do we magnify. Επίσε κράτος εν βραχίων ιαυτού, διεσκόρπισεν επερηφάνους, διανία καρδίας αυτών, την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβήμ, και εν δοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφήμ, την αδία φθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντος θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he sent away empty. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theodokos, you do we magnify. And the to Israel, pedos of two, nisthine leus kathos, Ελιλάσε προς τους πατέρας ημών, τον Αβραάμ και το σπέρματι αυτού έως αιώνος, την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβήμ και εν δοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφήμ, την αδία φθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. Ο Earth, announce the good tidings of great joy. You heavens, praise the glory of God. Now let no uninitiated hand Approach the living ark of God to touch it. Rather, let believers lip sing out in exultation the angel's salutation unceasingly to the Theotokos and cry out, Rejoice, maiden, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious most Lady, the filled, all close, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and all our life to Christ our God. To you. For all the heavenly powers praise you and offer up glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Aios Kyrios o Theos Exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. When Mary Magdalene beheld inside the tomb two angels, she was struck with astonishment 
not knowing it was Jesus, supposing he was the gardener. Sir, she questioned him, saying, Where have you laid the body of my Jesus? Then he called her, and then she knew that it was the Savior himself. And she heard, Touch me not to my brothers, tell that I go to the Father. The chief commander of the hosts of the angels was sent down by God the ruler over all to a pure virgin maiden. And he announced the good tidings of the strange secret wonder, namely that God will be from her procreated as man without human seed to refashion all of our human nature. Announce the good tidings, peoples all, that the world is refashioned. Rejoice, redemption from the curse on Adam Theotokos. Noble Mother of God, rejoice, rejoice, living on burnt bush, rejoice, O Lamb, stand throne, rejoice. Rejoice, O gate and ladder. Rejoice, O holy vehicle. Rejoice, temple, O cloud swift and light. Rejoice, golden jar of manna. Rejoice, O mountain. Rejoice, the table and the tent. Rejoice, Eve's absolution. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. It is fitting to sing a hymn to fitting to sing a hymn to you, O God. To fulfill among them the written judgment, this glory have all his holy ones. Lord, even if you stood on trial and suffered, <clears throat> Pontius Pontius Pilate, be your judge, yet you did not leave your divine throne, seated with the Father as you are. And when you rose from the dead, you freed the world from servitude that was imposed on it by the devil. O oh, compassionate who loves mankind. Praise God in his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Lord, even if the Judeans had you buried as a lifeless body in a grave, yet a guard of soldiers was watching over you as though a sleeping king and with a seal they secured the tomb as a treasure house of life but you arose and unto our souls granted incorruptibility 
Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Lord, as a weapon against the adversary, you have given us your holy cross. Gripped with fear, he trembles, unable to endure to look upon its might, because it raises the dead, and death itself it neutralized. For this reason, we adore your three-day burial and rising again. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. Your angel who announced your resurrection on the one hand frightened those who guarded your tomb, O Lord. On the other hand, he spoke to the women. Why among the dead, the one who is alive, as God he has risen, granting to the whole world the gift of eternal life. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Gabriel, that godlike and sublime, spiritual intellect, brilliant and heavenly, with a host of hierarchies on high, seeing and perceiving the tri-solar light of God, was sent to the pure virgin, and he announced the awesome and divine holy mystery of the plan of God. And he prays now, interceding for our souls. Praise him with resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Gabriel, that godlike and sublime, spiritual intellect, brilliant and heavenly, with the host of hierarchies on high, seeing and perceiving the trisolar light of God, was sent to the pure virgin, and he announced the awesome and divine holy mystery of the plan of God, and he prays now, interceding for our souls. He makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, the mystery of the plan of God, which was hidden for all time and was unknown to the angels, was made known to you alone, Gabriel, and you went to Nazareth and alone to Mary, the pure virgin, confided it. Together pray to Christ, interceding that surpassing peace and great mercy be upon our souls bestowed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are magnified exceedingly. O Gabriel, you are ever full of the light of God, the ruler over all, and you do his will, obeying his commandments. Marvelous archangel, chief of the angelic host, protect us who with longing now honor you and ever pray to Christ interceding that surpassing peace and great mercy be upon our souls bestowed. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come, let us labor in the mystical vineyard, producing fruits of repentance and within it. Not laboring for things that are eaten or drunk, but by prayer and fasting, 
attaining the virtues. By such will the Lord of the labor be pleased, and he will grant them the denarius, by which he ransoms souls from the dead of sin. For he alone is greatly merciful. Can you O Adis Ikmalotiste, O Adamana Keklite, I Katara ne necrote, I Eva I Lefterote, O Thanatos te Thanatote, Ke I Mises O Pithimen, Di O Anim Num Anim Num de Sevomen, Evlogitos Christos O Theos Simon, O utos evdokisas doxasi. Glory be to you who showed the light, glory in the highest to God, and on earth peace, good will among men. Himnu men se evlo woman se, Proskinumen se doxolo umen se, Evcharistumen si, Diati megali su doxan. O Lord, King, Heavenly God, The Father Almighty, Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Kyrie o Theos, o amnos tu Theou, o Iós tu Patros, o Eronda tin amartian tu Cosmu, eleison imas o Eronda samartias tu Cosmu. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. O ti par, o ti Simonos Aios, Simonos Kyrios, Iisus Christos is doxan Theou Patros, Amin. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever, and unto the ages of ages. Kataxios on Kyrie en ti merat afti, anamartitus philakthine imas. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Yenito kirie to eleo su epimas, katha peril pis amen epise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Evlogitos i kyrie didaxon me ta dikeomata su. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Kyrie kata figi e genithi siminen genea ke genea. Ego ipa kyrie eleison me ia se tim psihimu oti marton si. O Lord, to you have I fled for refuge. Teach me 
to do your will, for you are my God. O ti parasipi zois, en to foti su opsometafos. Continue your mercy unto those who know you. Aios o Theos, aios ischiros, aios athanatos eleison imas. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Aios o Theos, aios ischiros, aios athanatos eleison imas. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Σήμερον σωτηρία το κόσμο γεγονέν, άσωμεν το αναστάντη εκ τάφου και αρχηγό της ζωής ημών, καθελών γαρ το θανάτο των θάνατων, τον οίκος εδώ και νημήν και το μέγα έλεο. Ευλογήσον δέσποτα. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, always, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For all pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Nathaniel, the Honorable Presbyterate for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, the Armed Forces, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, holy, most blessed and glorious Lord, Lady, the pale, thoughtful, snare, Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, Lord our God, whose might is incomparable and glory incomprehensible, whose mercy is immeasurable love for mankind ineffable, yourself, Master, watch over us and over this holy house according to your loving kindness. 
and do your abundant mercies and your compassion with us and with those who pray with us. For yours it is to do, for yours is to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Ευλογή ψυχή μου των Κυριών και πάντα τα εντός μου το όνομα του Αγίων Αυτού. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards. Κύριος εν του ουρανού ετοίμασε το θρόνον αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει. Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most, most blessed and glorious holy, Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those of the beauty of your house, and glorify them, return by your divine power, and forsake us not who hope in you. For yours the dominion, yours the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Ψαλώ το Θεό μου έως υπάρχω. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, his hope is in the Lord his God. Βασιλεύσει Κύριος εις τον αιώνα ο Θεός σου, σιών εις γενεάν και γενεάν. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, holy, most blessed and glorious Lord, Lady, the pale, gold, gold, and Virgin Mary, with all the saints, us. let us commend ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. You have given us these common prayers and with one voice and promised to grant the request of two or three who call upon you and upon your name in one voice. Yourself now fulfill the petitions of your servants for the common good, giving us in this age knowledge of your truth and the age to come eternal life. For you are a good God who loved mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and into the ages of ages. Αυτή η μέρα είναι επίση ο κύριο. Αγαλιασόμεθα και φρανθόμεν εν αυτή. Sophia, Orthi, Vefte proskinisomen, Ke prospesomen, Christo, Σαγαθός τον δούλον σου και όσα εν βιοί μαρτών συχωρίσον ουδής γαράν αμαρτίτος η μισή ο δυναμένος και της μεταστάσι δούνε την αναπαύση.
Let us pray to the Lord. O holy God, who is dressed in the holy place, you are him by the seraph from the thrice holy cry, and glorified by the cherubim, worshipped by every heavenly power, who out of nothing have brought all things to being, and created the human being according to the image and likeness, and adorned him with every gift of your grace. We give to him who asks wisdom and understanding, and do not overlook the one who sins, but have established repentance for salvation. You have counted us the lowly and unworthy servants, worthy to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar, to offer you due worship and praise. Yourself, Master, receive even from the mouths of us sinners the thrice holy hymn, and watch over us in your goodness. Forgive our every discord, both voluntary and involuntary. Sanctify our souls and bodies, and grant us to liturgize to you in holiness all the days of our life. Through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints, who from the age were well pleasing to you. For you are holy, our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Let us be attentive. Pray in return to the Lord your God. In Judah, God is known. His name is great in Israel. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God should prove false, 
we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf. Having become a high priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Let us be attentive. At that time, a man came to Jesus kneeling and saying, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and whenever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy. And he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you are able to believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, you dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out from him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose, and when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, he will rise. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is in our midst. Just now we heard in this gospel reading about a father who brings his son to Christ to be healed. The father is out of options, running low on places that he can turn. For years, since childhood, his son has been tormented by an unclean spirit would try to kill him by throwing him into the fire and into the water. 
His heart is breaking for his son who he sees struggling, struggling to live with this demon that afflicts him. And first, the father brings his son to the disciples. Christ at this time was with, was with his three chosen disciples, Peter, James, and John, and Mount Tabor, showing them his full glory. But the other nine, as they received this father and his son and these prayers, were unable to help. And so as Christ returns, the man approaches him and again asks that Christ now cast out this demon. And at the climax of their interaction, before Christ heals the child, the father cries out and says, I believe, help my unbelief. Oftentimes we can think or be convinced that belief, that strong faith and struggle to believe or doubt are mutually exclusive things. But this father, this man in this dire situation shows us that that's not the case. Even the most devout of followers can struggle with moments of unbelief. The Father shows us that today, and he gives us this beautiful opportunity through his words to understand what does it mean to believe and yet wrestle with unbelief. How do we hold the tension between seemingly contradictory statements, I believe, help my unbelief, to do this, we first have to look at what we understand about belief. And the way that we understand belief about someone versus belief in someone. Throughout the scriptures, time and again, we see the demons believe. They have a correct understanding about Christ. <coughs> as he heals and drives out demons, they themselves are the ones that proclaim most loudly, most clearly, most truly, who Christ is. Earlier in this gospel, according to St. Mark, St. Mark recounts a story of the first time that Christ drives out a demon, and he recounts, quote, and the unclean spirits, whenever they saw him, they fell down before him and they cried out, saying, you are the Son of God. They have a correct belief about who Christ is. But they have no belief, no trust, no faith in the works that he came here to do. Their belief is cognitive. It's knowledge. It's not trust. It in no way affects the way in which they live their lives. St. James, the brother of the Lord, criticizes this type of belief, a belief that knows something about but doesn't actually do anything with Christ. He says, again, referencing the demons, quote, you believe that there is one God good for you. Even the demons believe. As he is criticizing in his epistle, those who claim to have faith but we never see that faith manifested in their actions and their deeds. Contrast this type of belief where we know about someone, we know a truth, we know a fact, with the type of belief that Peter has. Peter, the leader of the apostles, regularly misunderstands who Christ is. He has just come down off of Mount Tabor with Christ, where Christ revealed his glory to him, and as Christ shows forth his divinity, Peter says, let's stay here forever. And Christ says, no, I must go to Jerusalem. Peter misunderstands and he wants to stay with Christ and prevent Christ from actually doing the ministry he came here to do and ascending the cross. Another time when Christ is talking about his pending crucifixion, Peter takes him aside and says, no, don't go to Jerusalem, don't do that. Christ looks at him and says, get behind me. You don't understand who I am. And so Peter struggles to know about Jesus, to know what, is he, what he's here to do, to know who he truly is. 
And yet, when it comes to putting faith and trust in Jesus, Peter gets out of a boat in the middle of the sea, sure that he can walk to his master, sure that Christ will not abandon him. And even in those moments when he has his own doubts, he just reaches his hand out and asks for God's help, and God pulls him up. So we see that Peter, although he doesn't understand much about Christ, has eternal faith in him and the works that he came here to do. This is the key to understanding today's gospel, the Father, and moments of doubt and unbelief in our own lives. This man, this father, clearly had trust that Jesus could heal his son. Why try and ask for this man's help if his disciples couldn't do it unless you believe that he was greater than them? He had suffered for years and found no help. He had gone to the disciples and found no help. It was not desperation that brought him to Christ, but it was trust. He had heard that Christ had done this work before, and he believed that Christ will do this for me. He did not give up. Maybe he didn't understand how Christ would do this, but he had faith that he would. He says, I don't know, but I know. I know and I trust that he can, but how I can't say. So he cries out, I believe, help my unbelief. In other words, I trust you, Lord, help me to understand. I trust you, help me to understand. When we face difficult times in our lives and challenges to our faith, questions that arise as we dive deeper and deeper into the mystery of God, we shouldn't be confused and think that the presence of doubt or questions or misunderstandings are evidence of a lack of faith or evidence that we are weak or evidence that we do not love God. We must understand that faith, first and foremost, is the trust in him more so than the understanding about him. But the beautiful thing is the more we trust, the more we will learn. The more we put faith in Christ, the more we will have faith about Christ. Only when our faith is a faith of trust, of turning to the Lord and knowing that he has come here to bring salvation, knowing that he loves his creation, knowing that he will sacrifice and give and that everything he does is to lead us deeper and deeper towards him and his kingdom. Only when we have that type of trust can we hope to have any type of understanding cognitively about who he is. At those moments where our faith is lacking understanding, when we are questioning and struggling, those moments of doubt, cry out the words of this man, I believe, help my unbelief. O oh Christ, I trust you. Help me to understand you. Amen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Nathaniel. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, higher monks, deacons, higher deacons, monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, pardon, remission of the sins of the servants of God, 
all pious and orthodox Christians, those who reside in this city, the members, stewards, founders, and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for all our orthodox fathers and brethren who are in rest before us, and who all who piously lie here sleep in the Orthodox everywhere. May their memory be eternal. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and those who make acceptable sacrifice in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people standing here who await your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord our God, receive this fervent supplication from your servants. Have mercy upon us according to the multitude of your mercy. Send down your compassion upon us and upon all your people who wait your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God who loved mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. This time I would like to invite forward our catechumens, those preparing for initiation into the church, to come and receive the prayers of the catechumenate. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens. Lord have mercy. That the Lord will have mercy. Lord have mercy. That He will teach them the word of truth. Lord have mercy. That He will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. That He will unite them to His holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and protect them, O God, by Your grace. Lord have mercy. Catechumens, bow your head to the Lord. Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord, our God, who dwell in the heavens and watch over the lowly who for salvation have sent forth to the race of men, your only begotten Son, God, and our Lord Jesus Christ, watch over your servants, the catechumens who have bowed their necks before you, and count them worthy in due time of remission of sins, a garment of incorruption, and you unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them among your chosen flock, that they may also glorify with us your all-honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. All you who are preparing for illumination, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren who are preparing for illumination and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our Lord our God will establish and strengthen them. Lord, have mercy. That he will illumine them with the light of knowledge and piety. Lord, have mercy. That at the appointed time he will count them worthy of remission of sins in the garment of incorruption. Lord have mercy. That he will beget them again by the water and spirit. Lord have mercy. That he will grant to them perfection of the faith. Lord have mercy. That he will number them among his holy and chosen flock. Lord have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Those preparing for illumination, bow your heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Show your face, O Master, to those preparing for holy illumination and longing to put away the defilement of, sli of sin. Enlighten their understanding, firm the faith, establish them in hope, perfect them in love, show them to be honorable members of your Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for our souls. For you are the illumination, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who are preparing for illumination, go forth, all catechumens, go forth, let none of the catechumens remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, you, God, have revealed to us the great mystery of salvation, have counted us your lowly and unworthy servants, worthy to be ministers of your holy altar yourself. Enable us for this service by the power of your Holy Spirit, so that we offer you a sacrifice of praise, standing uncondemned before your holy God, for your holy glory. For you are the one who works all things in all, Grant, Lord, that our sacrifice for our own sins and for the unknowing heirs of the people be acceptable and well-pleasing to you. For to you is due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, protect us, O God, by your grace. 
Wisdom, O oh God, who in mercy and compassion have watched over our lowliness, have made us your lowly, sinful, and worthy servants, stand before your holy glory, liturgizing at your holy altar, strengthen us for the service by the power of your Holy Spirit, and grant speech in the opening of our mouth that we may call down the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be set forth. So that guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and into the ages of ages.
May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom. Always, now, and forever, and into the ages of ages. Quando ni moin, nisti kirios o theos, en ti vaisiliaftu, Pando tenin ke ai, ke istus eonas ton eonon. Joseph, take your pure body down at the cross, wrapped in clean linen and fragrant spices, and laid it in your tomb. To good Lord, and your good pleasure, and desire, and the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you'll please the sacrifice, oblation, and hope, and offering. Then they will offer both upon your altar. Then they will offer both upon your altar. Then they will offer both upon your altar. Let us complete our supplication to the Lord. For the precious gifts you set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and profitable for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. To complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. The completion of our lives to be Christian, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before our fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed most and glorious holy, Lady, the Veil, the Holy Spirit, Virgin Mary, with all the saints, us. let us commend ourselves, one another, and all our life to Christ our God. Lord, our God, who created us and brought us into this life, you showed us a way to salvation and granted us a revelation of heavenly mysteries. You are the one who have placed us in this service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Therefore, Lord, be well pleased that we become servants of your New Testament, ministers of your holy mysteries. According to the multitude of your mercy, receive us as we draw near to your holy altar so that we become worthy to offer you this reasonable and bloody sacrifice for our own sins and the unknowing errors of your people. Having received it upon your holy, heavenly, and noetic altar as a scent of sweet fragrance, send down upon us in return the grace of your Holy Spirit. Watch over us, O God, and behold this, our worship, and receive it as you receive the gifts of Abel and the sacrifice of Noah, the whole burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, the peace offerings of Samuel, as you receive this true worship from your holy apostles, so also in your goodness, Lord, receive the gifts from the hands of us sinners, so that having been counted worthy to liturgize blamelessly at your holy altar, we gain the reward of the faithful and wise stewards and the fearful day of your righteous recompense. 
through the compassion of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us love one another that with oneness of mind we may confess. Aga pisos ei kirjas hismu. Kirja, kirjas te reo mamuta. Kirjas te reo. Aga pisos ei kirjas hismu. Kirjas te reo mamuta. Kirjas te reo. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and of all, all things, things visible, visible and invisible, and, invisible, and, and in one, one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten God, Son of God, the God, God, God of the Father before all ages, the light of light, true God, God of true God, 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 begotten, God, not created, of one, one essence with the Father, Father through whom all things are made, who for us man, for our salvation, came down from heaven and was incarnate with the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds with the Father, who together with the Father, the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life age to come. Amen. Amen. και σαρκοθέντα εκ πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και Ανθρωπίσαντα, στα προθέντα τε περιμόν, επί ποντίου πιλάτου, και παθώντα και τα φέτα, και αναστάτε τη τρίτη μέρα κατασγραφάς, και ανελθώντα εις τους ουρανούς, και καταζόμενον εκ δεξιών του Πατρός, και πάλι ενερχόμενο με τα δόξης, κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς, ού της βασιλείας σου και στε τέλος και στο Πνεύμα το Άιον, το Κύριον, το Ζωπιόν, τον εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συν Πατρί και Υιός υπροσκυνούμενον, και συνδοξαζόμενον το Λαλίσαν διά το Προφητών, εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογμόν βάπτισμα εις άψιν αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. Let us stand the right, let us stand with fear, let us be mindful that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and Master, he who is Lord God, Father, rule of all, who are to be worshipped, it is truly proper and right and befitting to the majesty of your holiness to praise you, to hymn you, to bless you, to worship you, to give thanks to you, to glorify you, the only true and existing God, and to offer you this, our reasonable worship, with a shattered heart and a spirit of humility. For it is to you that 
who have granted us the knowledge of your truth and who is able to tell of your mighty works and to make all your praises heard and to recount all your wonders at every moment. Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, who sit upon the throne of glory and behold the depths, unoriginate, invisible, incomprehensible, uncircumscribable, immutable, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great God and Savior, our hope, who is in the image of your goodness, the seal of your very likeness, showing forth in himself you, the Father, the living word, the true God, the wisdom before all ages, the life, sanctification, power, the true light, through whom the Holy Spirit was revealed, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal good things, and the life-creating power, the fountain of sanctification, by whom enable every rational noetic creature worships you and sends up to you the everlasting hymn of glory. For all things together are your servants. Angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim praise you. Round you they stand, the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, and with two they cry, they fly, crying out to one another with unresting mouths and ever silent hymns of glory. Roaring, lowing aloud, crying out and saying the triumphant hymn. With these blessed powers, Master, who love mankind, we and the sinners also cry out and say, Holy are you truly and all holy, and there is no measure to the majesty of your holiness. And holy are you in all your works, for with righteousness and true judgment you have brought all things into for us. You formed the human being by taking dust from the earth and honored him with your own image, O God. You placed him in the paradise of delight. You promised him immortality of life and enjoyment of eternal good things in the observance of your commandments. But when he disobeyed you, the true God who had created him and was led astray by the guile of the serpent who was put to death by his own transgressions, you, God, in your righteous judgment, sent him forth from paradise into this world and returned him to the earth from which he was taken, providing for him the salvation through rebirth, which is in your Christ himself. For truly you did not turn away from your creature whom you had made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands, but through the tender compassion of your mercy you watched over him in various ways. You sent forth prophets, you performed mighty works through your saints who in every generation were well-pleasing to you. You spoke to us by the mouth of the servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to be. You gave us the law as a help and you appointed angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your son himself, through whom you also created the ages who, being the radiance of your glory and the image of your being, upholding all things by the word of his power, do not think being equal to you, O God and Father, a thing to be held on to, but being God before all ages, he appeared on earth and lived among men, and being incarnate of a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, becoming comforted to the body of our, conformed to the body of our lowliness, that he might make us conform to the image of his glory. For as by man sin entered the world, and by sin death, so it pleased your only begotten Son, who was born in the who is in the bosom of you, God and Father, born of a woman, the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who are dead in Adam might be made alive in your Christ himself, and living in this world, giving us commandments of salvation, turning us from the deceit of, idol of, of idols. He brought us to the knowledge of you, the true God and Father, obtaining us for himself as a treasured people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation and cleansing us in water and sanctifying us the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. And ascending through the cross into hell so that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the pains of death and rising on the third day, making for all flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead. Since it was not possible for the source of life to be held by corruption, he became the first fruits of the fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, so that he is first in all things in all. 
and ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come again to render to each according to his works. And he has left us as memorials of his saving passion, these that we have set forth before you according to his commandment. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable life-creating death, in the night in which he gave himself up for the life of the world, taking bread into his holy and pure hands and showing it to you, God and Father, giving thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Educetis aes of tumatitesque apostolis ipon, la vete faiete, tutum oesti to soma, to iperimon clomenon, his office in martion. Likewise, also the cup of the fruit of the vine, mingling it, giving thanks, blessing, and sanctifying. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Educetis aes of tu mathitesque apostolis ipon, pietex of tu pandes, tu tu esti tu emamu, totis kenis di eficis to iperimon ke polone hinomenon, his office in martion. O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death, you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, remembering this saving passion, the life giving cross, the three-day burial, the resurrection from the dead, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at your right hand, God and Father, and the glorious and fearful second coming. Your own of your own, we offer unto you in all and for all the sake don son si prospero men kata panda kedia panda Therefore, O Holy Master, we also the sinners, your unworthy servants who have been counted worthy to liturgize your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have done nothing good upon the earth, but because of your mercies and your compassion, which you have so richly poured out upon us, we now dare to approach your holy altar, setting forth the antitypes of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We implore you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the good pleasure of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts you presented to bless, bless them, sanctify, and show them that this bread to be the precious body itself of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and this cup to be the precious blood itself of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. poured out for the life and the salvation of the world. especially for our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
sacrifices your holy churches, those who remember the poor. Reward them with your riches and heavenly gifts of grace. Grant them heavenly things for earthly, eternal things for temporal, incorruptible things for corruptible. Remember, Lord, those who are in deserts and mountains and caves and the hallows of the earth. Remember, Lord, those who live in Virginia and piety and asceticism in a godly way of life. Remember, Lord, all our rulers whom you've ordained to rule upon the earth. Grant them deep and troubled speech, untroubled speech. Peace. Speak good things into their heart concerning your church and all your people, so that we in our tranquility lead a calm and quiet life of piety and goodness. Remember, Lord, every ruler and authority in our brothers and the palaces and all the armies. To say in those who are good in your goodness and make good those who are evil through your goodness and loving kindness. Remember, Lord, the people standing here and those who are absent for right reasons. Have mercy on them and on us according to the multitude of mercy. Fill their storehouses with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and oneness of mind. Rise the in raise the infants, guide the young, support the aged, comfort the faint-hearted, gather the scattered, lead back those who have gone astray and join them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are troubled by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Support the widows. Protect the orphans. Deliver the imprisoned, heal the sick. Remember, God, those who are in trials and mines and exiles and bitter slavery and any kind of affliction, necessity and distress, and all who entreat your great loving kindness, and those who love us and those who hate us, and those who have asked us the unworthy to pray for them. Remember all your people, Lord our God, and pour out your rich mercy upon all of them, granting all their petition that are for salvation, and those whom we have not remembered through the ignorance of forgetfulness, or the multitude of the names, remember yourself, O God, who know the age and the name of each of us, who know us from our mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the help of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the bestormed, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Yourself be all things to all people. You know each in his position, his household, and his need. Deliver, Lord, this city and every city and countryside from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion by enemies, and from civil war. Among the first, remember, O Lord, Archbishop Nathaniel, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us calls to mind, and all the people. And all the people. Remember, Lord, all the Episcopate of the Orthodox, those who rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, Lord, according to the multitude of your compassion, my unworthiness also. Forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary, and withhold not, because of my sins, the grace of your Holy Spirit from the gifts that are set forth. Remember, Lord, the priest of the diaconate Christ, every priest in monastic order, and put none of us to shame who stand about your holy altar. Watch over us in your loving kindness, Lord. Reveal yourself to us in your rich compassion. Grant us seasonal and health, healthful weather. Bestow gentle showers upon the earth so that it bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness and end schisms of the church. Quench the raging of the nations. Quickly put down the uprising of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom, showing us to be sons of light and of the day. Grant us your peace and your love, Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. And grant that with one mouth and one heart may glorify and praise your most honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar, as a scent of spiritual fragrance, may sun down upon us and return the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith, the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves, one another, and all our life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Our God, the God who saves, teach us to thank you worthily for the benefits you have done and do for us. Yourself, O God, have received these gifts. Cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit to teach us to accomplish holiness in fear of you, so that receiving a portion of your holy things in, wit in pure witness of your conscience, we may be made with the holy body and blood of your Christ, and that having received them worthily, we have Christ dwelling in our hearts, and we become temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, our God, let none of us be guilty of these, your frightful and heavenly mysteries, nor be weak in soul and body by partaking of them unworthily, but grant to us until our last breath to receive a portion of your holy things worthily as provisions for eternal life and as acceptable defense at the fearful judgment seat of your Christ, so that we also, together with all the saints who from the old have been well-pleasing to you, become partakers of your eternal good things which you have prepared for those who love you, O Lord. And count us worthy, Master, with boldness, without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater imon, o in this uranis, ai estito to nomasu, el theto i basiliesu, genit into to theri masu, o sur urano kepitis gis, ton arton imon to the abusion, dos im in simero, que a pesimita plimita imon, o eske misa simon, que mi is en egis imas ispirasmon, alaris e imas apo to pongiru, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Master, Lord, Father of compassion, God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, and strengthen, and empower those who have bowed their heads to you. Withdraw them from every evil work and apply them to every good work and count them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your pure and life-creating mysteries for remission of sins for communion of the Holy Spirit. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Attend, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place in the throne of the glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with, on high with the Father and are visibly present here among us. And by your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. O oh God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O oh God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O oh God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, is broken, but not divided, is forever eaten, yet never consumed, but sanctifies those who partake. Jesus Christos Nikon. Even confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is as a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine love you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you so that leaping for joy, I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should also dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a festal garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. 
Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tu dipnu sutu mysticu, simeroni etheu, qui non non me paralave, u migartis ectrisu, to mysterion ipo, u filima si doso, cathaper o iudas, Allo solisti somoloosi, ministri ti mukirie, enti vasilia su. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the So a reminder today that we do not have Sunday school, so our ushers will not be dismissing the students first. Instead, they will dismiss row by row, so we ask that as you are preparing to receive Holy Communion, you follow our ushers as they dismiss today. Thank you. Fear of God with faith and with love draw near.
του δείπνου σου του μυστικού, σήμερον η εθεού κοινωνών με παράλαβε, που μη γάρδις εχθρίσου το μυστήριον υπό, που φίλοι μας η δώσω καθ' απέρω Ιούδας, άλλος ο ληστής ομολογώσει, νύστητη μου Κύριε, εν τη βασιλεία Σου, νύστητη μου δέσποτα, εν τη βασιλεία Σου, νύστητη μου Άγιε, όταν έλθεις εν τη Βασιλεία Σου. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. Tu dipnusu tu mystiku. Si meronie theu kinonon me paralave umigartis ekthri. Τον μυστήριον υπό που φίλημα σιδώσω Of the mystery 
to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss, as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. To the Su tu mistico, si meronia te u, qui non me para la ave, umigartis. Ecrisu, to mysterion ipo ufirima si doso ka. Save, O God, our people, and bless your inheritance. Amen. 
Bless you, Lord, by your holy blood. This is Paul's praying here through the intercession of blessing, glorious Lady of Faith, Lord, and Virgin Mary, and of all the saints. now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord help, us. help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves to one another and all our life to Christ our God. We give thanks to you, Lord our God, for the partaking of your holy, pure, mortal, and heavenly mysteries, which you have granted us for the well-doing and sanctification and healing of our souls and bodies. Yourself, Master, grant the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ. Be for the faith unashamed, for love unfeigned, for fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, for driving away every adversary, for observance of your commandments, and acceptable defense of the fearful judgments of your Christ. For you are the sanctification, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Christ our God, who received the sacrifice of praise and acceptable worship, this reasonable and unbloody sacrifice from those who call upon you with their whole heart, Lamb and Son of God, who take up the sins of the world, and blemished calf, who do not bear the yoke of sin and are willingly sacrificed for us, who are broken, yet not divided, eaten, yet never consumed, but who sanctify those who eat, who in remembrance of your voluntary passion, life creating, rising the third day, have shown us to be partakers of the unutterable and heavenly and fearful mysteries of your holy body and your precious blood. Preserve in your sanctification us, your servants, those who minister, our rulers, and the army, and all the people standing here. And grant us to meditate on your righteousness at every time and moment, so that guided by your will and doing what is well pleasing to you, we also become worthy of standing at your right hand when you come to judge the living and the dead. Deliver our brethren in prisons, watch over those who are sick, guide those in danger upon the sea, on land, and in the air, and rest the souls of those who are in rest before us in the hope of eternal life, where the light of your face watches over them, and attend to all who implore, your, implore you for help. For you are the giver of all the things that are good, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery of the divine plan for Christ Christ. It's accomplished and perfected as far as in the power of the memory of your death, and the type of your resurrection, we filled with all your unending life. We have enjoyed your angel's light, which also in the age to come be well pleased to grant to us through the grace of your unoriginal Father, your all good life, spirit, now and forever to the age of age. Amen. Before we conclude our worship together today, we will be celebrating a three-year three memorial for the servant of God, Georgia Belagratis. Amen. <laughs> 
Ανάπα αυσόν και την ψυχή τη δούλη σου, ότι μόνο υπάρχει σαν θάνατο. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You are God who descended into Hades and ended the sufferings of those who were bound there. O Savior, also rest the soul of your servant. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most pure and spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the soul of your servant. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the soul of the servant of God, your dear, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all of her transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. But the Lord our God will establish her soul where the righteous dwell. For the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of her sins, let us ask of Christ our immortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and all flesh, who has trampled down death and brought the devil to naught, and give life to your world. Yourself, Lord, give rest to the soul of your servant Georgia, who has fallen asleep in a place of refreshment, a place of repose, where all pain, grief, and sorrow have, fly, have fled away. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin she has committed in word, deed, or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin you alone or without sin, your righteousness and everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection and the life, and the repose of your servant, Georgia, who has fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And to you we send of glory, together with your beginningless Father, your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. May you remember, eternal sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. May you remember, eternal sister, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Eonia imni imi Eonia imni imi Eonia fisi ni Pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy glorious victorious martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers who shine forth in asceticism, of our fathers among the saints Athanasius, the great patriarch of Alexandria, and Basil, the great archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, of the holy righteous ancestors of the Lord Joachim and Anna, of our righteous and God-bearing Father John of the Latter, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints. May he have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good and merciful God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And the Holy Trinity bless you and protect you today and always. Amen.
Θείον κλίμακα υποστήριξας τι τον λόγο σου μεθοδόν πάση μόνα στον υφυγή της ανέδειξε εν πρακτικής Ιωάννη καθαρσέως προς θεωρίας ανάγων την έλαμψην. Πατέρος Ιε Χριστόν τον Θεόν ηκέτευε, δωρήσαστε ημίν το Μέγα Ελέος. Good morning. As we get further and deeper into Lent, we resume our full cycle of services. This evening, there will be, uh, for the entire western suburbs, uh, Vespers held at St. Demetrius in Elmhurst at 7 o'clock. This is the Contrition Vespers, uh, where we transition back from the joy and the bright colors of the Sunday celebration of the resurrection back into the somber Lenten dark colors and uh, perspective for the rest of the week. So please join us along with members from all the surrounding parishes as we celebrate the Contrition Vespers this evening at 7 o'clock at St. Demetrius in Elmhurst. We'll have our great Compline on Monday. Wednesday evening we will have pre-sanctified uh, liturgy followed by a lecture with a visiting priest, Father Nick Leonis, who is visiting from uh, Detroit, and dinner provided uh, by our men's group. Following uh, that, on Friday, we will have our uh, celebration of the Akathist hymn, which is all of the four uh, weeks, the different stasis, the different hymns that we have been doing on Friday evening, put together in one, uh, one grand offering of praise to the Theotokos for her intercessions. And then on uh, Saturday, we are hosting the Metropolis-wide Philoptikos retreat. So if you are a member of the Philoptikos and would like to participate in this Lenten retreat, uh, please uh, do reach out to our Philoptikos, uh, to Samantha, who can tell you how to uh, register for this upcoming Saturday's retreat. You'll see that over the next couple of weeks, uh, things are pretty focused intently on preparing for Holy Week and, uh, and Pascha. So you'll see the rest of the um, activities and things listed in your bulletin. I, uh, I won't read them to you, but please, uh, to aid and assist in your full experience of our Lord's journey to Jerusalem, his crucifixion and his resurrection, I advocate to participate in as much as the church offers as you are able, be that dyeing eggs and bringing them to the church, be that coming to the services, be that helping out um, to even usher um, as we have more people visiting us and more people worshiping with us. Uh, there are so many different ways that we can uh, appreciate this beautiful and most holy season of great and holy Lent and Holy Week. I pray that the Lord give us strength the remainder of Lent and be with us today and always. Thank you. The barren wilderness thou didst make fertile with the streams of thy tears, and by the deep sighing thou hadst given fruit through thy struggles a hundredfold. Accordingly thou hast become a star for the universe sparkling with, with miracles. Therefore, O righteous Father John, intercede with Christ God to save our souls. Mm. Εξομολογήστε το, το Κύριο, ότι αγαθός, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος, αυτού, αλληλούια. 
εξομολογήστε Θεό το Θεό να λιλούια ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού αλληλούια εξομολογήστε το το Κύριον τον Κύριον, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Το πίσαντι θαυμάσια, Μεγάλα μόνο, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Το πίσαντι του ουρανούς εν σύνεσή, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Το στερεός αντί την γην επί τον υδάτων, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Το πίσαντι Φώτα μεγάλα μόνο, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Την σελήνη και τους αστέρας της έξ ουσία της νύχτος, αλληλούια, ότι εις τον αιώνα το έλεος αυτού, αλληλούια. Το παντάξαν τη Αιγύπτον συν της πρωτότοκης αυτών, αλληλούια, όσοι εις 